my name is Ashley. Today I have so many yarns. We're gonna see what we're gonna do with these beautiful yarns. We're gonna start. All right, so today what are we gonna do with these beautiful yarns that here we have? I'm gonna make, I have to say next week is my father's 90th birthday. So I was thinking, what can we take? And they have everything and uh, I'm, I was really confused. So when I find these beautiful yarns, it looks like it's a wool. Uh, so I decided to make Tron little blanket while he sits on the couch watching TV to put on his knees. So I started to work. It's not finished yet. I still have to do a lot of work. I want to show you how do we do this. So with this yarn, we're going to start. Let me see the beginning. So when you want to start, we have to do a little chain. So how do I start? I'll put this on my two fingers like this. I just twist twice and I bring the front one into the front. All it is, it just little rolled. And then I hold that in my hands here. I roll again and I do a little chain like you see here. And then again, I take this and I throw the back part in the front. And this is how I will continue to do little chain to work with. So do you see how beautiful chain it does? So this is very simple and very easy. And I have to tell you in no time, you can finish it and you can do it. So this is how it will be. At the end, let's say I finished all the yarn. At the end, you just go through and you pull it. Of course, over here it should be cut. You pull it and it will stay just like this. So when you don't want it, you can just pull it and it will open it very easy. So over here, I've done the blue one and I've done the gray one. And in case if I need more, I can mix this and I can change it. So for now, I have a lot of blue color and I don't know what am I going to do if it's going to be enough or not. So I am going to do with this. So now I want to show you here how I was doing as a matter of fact I'm gonna little show you the corner how I do so do you see the corners over here the ends it looks like a little waves so we have to make sure that until at the ends it's been with the crochet with the crochet like this you make sure until you are at the end all you have to do is just like a chain you have to take in and then you have right side and a wrong side which is there's no such thing wrong right but it shows the thread because I wanted to see this side no thread whatsoever this side we have the lines you can see it because they are chain we we'll have to put them together all right, now that we arrived to the corner, that this way it has to come down here. So this is the last thread. So you can put your chain in and you can, you can pull it out. And then you will take your thread and you work with it. Let's see. All right, you pull it tight. So we don't have to see long thread. And then you fold your braided work and you just go into it. And this thread should be always under from the front, put it in the front. This is the back part that you see the threads over here. So you'll take the chain and you go between every braids beginning this is the corner we have to pull it and then we do just a chain so this will it will kind of because it's the same color it will blend it will hide and it's not gonna show now every time that you work this goes under the thread you go this is the braid part you go one here, one here, one here, one here, like just from the braid, you go in and out, in and out. Now I have to go from here. I will hold the thread. I'll just pull it out. Just take a chain and then do one more chain. 
and then go to the next. Do a little chain and then pull it again. Then go to the next. Like you see every braided chain that I have to go through. And now I go here. Sometimes when the thread is too tight, what you do, you take another chain. If it's not too tight, you just continue to go to the next. There you go. For example, like if it's too tight here, it's too close, you can pull it or you can just leave it like that and take another chain itself and then you jump to the next. This one we've done it. Now we have to jump to the next braid. And this is very, very easy, very simple, and it goes very fast. In no time, you can finish it. Like I said, it's my father's birthday, 98th birthday. I want to do something very little for him. So when he uses, he can remember me all the time. He will say, bring the Ashley's blanket that she made me, the cover. So this is the way you will do it. You go to the next, and it's such a soft material it is, thread it is. I don't know what do they call, but it's beautiful, and it keeps you very, very warm. And you know that especially when we get older, our body gets colder, so he would love to enjoy this uh, little blanket so this is the way it's gonna be like you see over here the ends how wavy it is the waves and this is like i said it's the back part it doesn't matter you can use it both ways only thing here you can see the little thread but it's the same color it's not noticeable and this is the way it will show here now I'm going to work this and I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to show you the result. So simple and easy and try to do it and make your parents happy. All right, I'll be back when I'm finished. All right. All right. Okay. So this is the way you will do it and you will finish it up. There you go. And it will be finishing in no time. All right. That's the way you do. Okay. The way you see it over here, like it's all braided. So I go one here. I'll take it out, just like a crochet I do. Here it's braided, you put them together, you go, after you do, you do just one again, make it a little loose and go to the next. And 
do the crochet, take it out, and give another chance one to get a little closer to the next. So what you have to do is, you have to jump in each braid. You have to go one here, one here, one here, one here. And that's how you will do it. So, and then I'm going to show you how it's going to look in the back. Let's see, we did here already. We're going to jump here. While it's on my lap, I feel like it's such a nice cozy blanket. It is nice and warm. All right. Let me do one more. Okay, let's leave this long. This is going to look the wrong side, but doesn't matter. They all look the same. Only thing you can see the thread. You can put different color or you can get the same color. And look at here, this side, nice and neat. This will be a good present to give. It's a nice cover. It keeps it such a nice warm for winter. All right. Now I want to show you the result. We're finished and I put the frame all around. It, it's so cozy, it's so beautiful. I'm sure my father is gonna enjoy it. He's gonna be 90 years old, like I said. So I hope that you get hold of this kind of yarn and you can do it such a beautiful things for your family. And I hope you like it. And if you like it, please like and subscribe. And you can go on my videos and you can see so many art and crafts and so many things that it might interest you. Well. Thank you again for watching and if you like it, please like and subscribe and I thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.